Good evening, everyone. My name is Kira Mulai, and this is my IB CAS portfolio presentation. So to start off, just a little bit about what CAS is. CAS stands for Creativity, Activity, and Service, or it could also be Creativity, Action, and Service. It goes both ways. Ultimately, this part of our diploma balances the IB course load in order to create well-rounded students that learn through, and we all, it's, it's so that we can learn through new exper through experiences and try new, try new things in order to ultimately help the community and create leadership skills and display initiative, especially through the CAS project at the, the one month long CAS project or minimum of one month. Some CAS experiences I would like to highlight are the Big Buddy Program, Debate Club, Homework Booster Lab, Tennis, the Science National Honor Society Park Cleanup, and finally my CAS project, the <coughs> National Chinese Honor Society. Uh, the first experience I would like to highlight is the Big Buddy Program. I am a part of our school's Big Buddy Program where seniors help freshmen to academically and socially acclimate to high school. I have two freshman little buddies who I help through their high school experience this far. And my goals here <coughs> are ultimately to ensure that my little buddies are comfortable within the high school and are becoming involved in the school community through clubs and sports and to ensure that they're academically advocating for themselves and getting any assistance they need by, from their teachers or from peers. This experience in, sorry, um, this experience it encompasses the cast, all three cast strands and learning objectives one through five, where I have showed commitment as I have been a part of this program since the end of my junior year, so last year. And I have gained new leadership skills and collaboration skills from working with my peers to plan different events and to ensure that my little buddies are getting all of the information they may need or want. The next experience I'm going to highlight is debate club. I'm the president of our school's debate club and I'm responsible for leading, oh, sorry, debates, creating balance between each side of the argument, and ensuring that any procedures of the debate are shared with um, the new members. And in, this, in the club, we choose debate topics based on the students' interests, which can range, there's a wide range of different debates we've had, such as gun control, immigration, even the age gap on, the age cap for a presidency. And my goals of this are to ensure that everyone feels like they have the opportunity to share what they believe in and argue a certain side. And additionally, I wanted to develop my own skills of debating with other people and collaboration. This experience encompasses the cast strand of creativity and learning objectives one, two, four, five, and seven, where I I've committed to this club as I've been a member of it since my sophomore year, and I have developed a much more leadership, many more leadership skills, and I've become more outspoken through this club. The next experience is Homework Booster Lab, which is an after-school club that runs on Tuesdays and Thursdays in the middle school. Um, and this club uses high school students to tutor the middle school students um, in their classes with their homework and such. And my goal here is to ensure that the middle school students I'm working with are better understanding the material they're learning in class. This experience encompasses the cast strands of creativity and service and learning objectives one, three, four, five, and seven, where I have planned through, um, planned to meet with certain students for an array of different subjects such as math or English or even Mandarin Chinese where I help them with their work and in order to ensure that the in order to be conscious of like ethics of like my actions I do not give them strictly the answers I instead help them get to the answers that they need. Um, the next experience I would like to highlight is tennis, which is a popular sport that is often considered a lifelong sport. And I initially started tennis in order to become more active and to be properly taught how to play. 
My goals were to learn the basic skills so that I can play with my friends and family and collaborate with my instructor in order to ensure that I understand how to play properly. This experience encompasses the cast strands of creativity and activity, as well as all seven cast strands, as I have been able to develop many new skills, such as being able to properly hold the racket and be able to hit the ball in the right direction and not just across <laughs> the court. Um, and I've worked collaboratively with my instructor in the past to ensure that I'm keeping up with tennis and being able to work on new skills in each lesson. The final cast experience I'm going to highlight right now is the Science National Honor Society Park Cleanup, where the Science National Honor Society holds four park cleanups each year, where we travel to a local park to pick up garbage. And the goal here is ultimately to clean up as much of the garbage as possible in order to preserve the environment. This experience encompasses the cast strands of activity and service and the learning objectives of one, two, five, six, and seven, where I have worked collaboratively with my peers in order to clean up the garbage. And we're engaging with globally significant issues as we are helping to preserve the environment. Some other experiences that I've participated in um, involve tutoring, an environmental club garden cleanup, the Color Wars Penny Drive, the Katona Art Museum shadow box making, and I am a student representative on the Board of Education. Finally, my CAST project was bringing a new chapter of the National Chinese Honor Society to our school, and this experience encompasses all um, the CAST strands of creativity, activity, and service. This, I began with this experience with creating the Honor Society as I realized that while we had a French and a Spanish National Honor Society, we had yet to bring a chapter of the Ma Mandarin Chinese or Chinese in general um, Honor Society as it is a newer offering to our school, as I believe they brought it to the language to our school when I was in sixth grade, and then they brought the IB course just last year. Due to this, I wanted to start our school's chapter in order to both recognize the students striving for excellence in the language, especially as this is a category four language, which is the hardest for English speakers to learn, as well as to encourage younger students to learn the language as well. This has been a 17 plus month process. It started in December of 2022, where I ultimately developed the idea, consulted Mrs. Lum, um, my Chinese teacher, and Mr. Mello and Mrs. Thornton, who is the French teacher at the high school and the head of the World Language Department. Ultimately, just to see if this was a viable option and if we could bring it to the school. And then from the majority of last school year was spent drafting and submitting the new club activity form. We began budgeting and planned and planning activities for the Honor Society as prior to creating the idea of like starting the Honor Society at our school, I did not think of things such as budgeting and how that would all work. And so Mr. Mello was a huge help and Mrs. Thornton and Mrs. Lum all had to definitely help a lot with that. But then in September of this year, or of this past year, but this school year rather, um, we drafted and sent out our applications, which we received and were, they were sent to guidance for GPA checks. And in October, Mrs. Lum reviewed the applications and we sent out acceptance letters to all of our applicants. We have six, five members, we have five members, and we scheduled and held our first meeting in October. And then in November, we held our first Honor Society induction along with French and Spanish. And then in January and February, we began to prepare for the Chinese New Year and decorated a bulletin board in the front um, hallway, in the main hallway of the high school. And then in March, we presented to the fifth and gr sixth grade students during our lunch period in order to try and get them interested in potentially taking the language when they go into seventh grade. And 
As an honor society, we will continue to meet throughout the course of the school year and try to and continue to try and introduce the Chinese culture into the building when possible. This experience encompasses all seven learning objectives where I have, similarly to the other ones I've had to take on, it's a leadership role where I've had to take initiative and plan in order to, for us to hold events and to decorate and the induction and such. And by doing this, we are trying to spread Chinese culture with throughout the school and throughout the school district. These are some pictures from both our induction and from our presentations to the fifth and sixth grade students. And then to kind of close up, um, the IB core involves the EE, TOK, and CAS. So the EE is extended essay, TOK is theory of knowledge, and CAS is creativity, activity, and service. And they have significantly impacted my, and I know that a lot of my peers academically, such as that TOK has changed my way of thinking, in which I bring through with me to my other classes. The EE has enhanced my writing skills significantly as it has prepared for higher level writing and research papers, which have helped through all of my classes. And CAS has helped to create balance and ensure that I'm not just focused on my schoolwork and has allowed me to gain leadership skills and take more initiative. And all in all, IB diploma and IB classes have allowed, have prepared me more for college um, where it's more writing heavy and even through these classes where it's a lot more writing than what has been done in the earlier grades. So the EE definitely has helped there and then TOK through all of our discussions we have kind of sh changed our way of thinking and our outlook and perspective on other issues. And then thank you, any questions?